uh, wish to take you through the process of creating data grid. When you talk about data grid, uh, we are talking about this part here, this table-like design of um, data that is read from the database. Therefore, what actually happens as you feed data here, you will actually note that uh, data is being displayed in a data grid. Therefore, this is what we, we call a data grid. To do this one, you need to uh, go ahead and create a form. Therefore, you just create a form whereby we just go to project, then add form. Then from this point, you just go to form. Then we save this form of ours. We can just call it uh, data grid. You can just call it data grid. Data grid. Then you just save it as data grid. Then this form of ours, you can just call it FRM. FRM data grid that way then we save it then after doing so uh, you can change this one to data grid that, that, that is data grid then after doing that we can also set this one to the startup form that is the form that we need uh, displayed Therefore, you shall get this one as a form data grid to be displayed for practice purposes. Then after having done so, it is important for us now to do and follow the points that we need. Therefore, what you need to do, you need to go to project, then you go to components. In the components window, you make sure that Microsoft data grid control, this one is ticked. And also, because of connection purposes, we need a doc that is uh, Microsoft Adobe Data Control 6.0 also uh, ticked and activated. Then you hit on apply. Therefore, I had pre uh, prior done that. Therefore, this is the data grid that we need. We also need connection. We need a doc. If you have been watching my videos, you must be conversant with a doc so far. Therefore, this is for the connection. You can also consider watching my videos on how to connect database to Microsoft Access using a doc. Uh, the description is below this video. Therefore, after having this one, this is for connection purposes. You draw a doc and make sure that uh, it is not displayed. Therefore, you just go to uh, this point here. That is the property sheet. You make sure that a doc is uh, not it will not be displayed here mm, visible visible here this point visible force this this means that when we run our form this way a doc will not be displayed it is not supposed to be displayed therefore on the other hand you go and draw this one data grid therefore we shall just come to this point and draw our data grid therefore you can just uh, make sure it is as uh, wide as possible then after having drawn the data grid here you make sure you know the name of the data grid you can leave it as data grid one the way it, uh, it looks like here therefore we need now to connect this one to our database therefore you go to a doc right click then you go to a doc properties then you form connection use connection string build Therefore, you re-hit build, then you just go to array Microsoft Jet 4.0, this one, object linking database provider. You go to next, then select or enter a database name, this point is around here. You can choose our database profile, then you test connection. Once connection is a success that way, you click on OK. Then you just click on apply, then OK. Now, after doing this, you also need now to connect the data grid to uh, data source and therefore you just scroll down here and go to data source here then you read data source uh, a doc therefore if you get such an error there then you must go back to this point here properties make sure you record source here okay initially you are in this then you just go to record source here you must tear 
uh, Microsoft Visual Basic where your data is located. Therefore, our record source is a table and therefore you choose a table. Then table or stored procedure name down here in this drop down list, you see a list of tables connected as per the database. Therefore, you just go to, uh, to this point here, parents, then you hit apply and then you hit OK. Therefore, after now doing this, make sure you just go back again, you hit your data grid, then once you hit on your data grid, you then go to, uh, that is, data source here. Our data source is a doc one, and therefore you save that one, and then you run. There we are. Therefore, you realize that Microsoft Visual Basic has successively uh, read our data, that is our table from Microsoft Access uh, by help of data grid. And therefore, this is how now data grid uh, comes to be. Then, on the same note, once your data grid has been done, uh, if you are very keen on this data grid of mine, there you cannot add records, you cannot delete records. And rest now, you form other, you form other buttons like delete and save. But um, I would like to activate those ones. That means still on this point here, you hit the data grid, then you just go back to properties. Uh, this is the properties window. On the properties window, when you read data grid one, you can see around new record here. Down here, it will tell you enables interactive record addition. Therefore, add around add new. You turn this one to true. Then uh, we have allow delete. You also turn this one to true. By doing so, when you run uh, this one and then we maximize this one, you will see that there is this button for add new record in that I can basically type um, a new record uh, in my database. Yeah. If I can just do that then you can be in a position to uh, type type something. Like now you can have uh, Peter. You can have Peter. Then the other name, Johanna. Then you can type the seminar here. You can add the same, same seven. That way. Then you can see, still I can be allowed to add more details. On the other hand, on the same note, uh, I can be in a position now to delete uh, the record from this point by activating the delete uh, this part. Therefore, you hit this, then allow delete this one. Therefore, this one also enables interactive record duration. Therefore, in nutshell, that's how you uh, create a data grid and uh, this data grid can now display data as you enter. Therefore, as you add more details here, you'll be in a position to um, actually uh, add in your database, that is in, in, in the back end. As you add them here, they will be added back in the, in the back end. Therefore, this is the back end uh, in Microsoft Access. Uh, you just go to parents. Therefore, you can see I'm um, right. In the back end, I have been in a position to add 126, Peter Joanna semester seven. That is the same, same data that uh, I was actually dealing with in the front end. That is in my data grid in Microsoft Access here. Therefore, that's how you actually work on, work with, um, that's how you work with Microsoft with your basic data grid and it becomes a very much, uh, very much attractive when it comes to data addition and manipulation. Uh, just like you have seen that one happening uh, in a very simple way. That's how you actually uh, do the stuff. For um, you need to refresh in the back end. And once you refresh, you can be in a position to see that. Uh, front end is actually working with the with the back end that is in Microsoft Visual Basic. Therefore, thank you very much for watching. See you in my next video.